Right on the border between England and Wales is the Forest of Dean, an ancient, beautiful, and relatively unmolested landscape. So the question is, how do you get permission to build a significant new house on the side of a hill overlooking an unspoilt, beautiful valley like this? Well, the answer is partly with camouflage. You make the house part of the hill. This is Outhouse, a long, low building that projects just one single story facade to the open valley. Built of concrete, it's generous at 490 square meters of living space, broken up with three courtyards that shelter you from the wind. It's home to two artists, Michael and Jean, who each have their own studio here. It is a house of two halves. At the front are the south-facing living areas, kitchen, dining, living room, and two principal bedrooms. Running behind them is a 45-meter-long hallway, almost an interior road, behind which sits the workaday stuff. Two artist workspaces lit by skylights, a guest bedroom, and a plant room. Those skylights and internal courtyards suck light into the building. Remarkably, given its size, it appears very modest from the outside. This, by the way, is the uh, owner's preferred method of transport in the building. Coming into it, there's an enticing staircase there that leads up to the wildflower meadow. Oh, pretty amazing view out there. And over the threshold, a large black charcoal textured box. Look, a garden. And behind that, a kitchen. Next to that, the sitting room, taking in those gobsmacking views. An enclosed garden, another one, second one. It's important because the building doesn't have formal gardens outside, so it, it captures these formal spaces. And through here, look, this is Michael's studio. Moving on, um, another little garden there. And then, out into the biggest garden, which is where the road stops. This is a big live-work project for the owners to have taken on. So tell me about where you were living and why you moved here. Trying to heat a Tudor house with oil-fired radiators is just hopeless. We wanted to build from scratch because the only way in which you can make an energy efficient house is to start from the beginning because you can then insulate the thing massively, which is nine tenths of the job, really. The house is super insulated thermally and also visually. The RIBA judges light the way its thick green roof runs backwards and up into the hill. 